Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. In this video, we'll be learning how to use date picker dialog and time picker dialog in Android Studio. So we'll be creating this kind of app. Uh, we'll have two buttons and if I click on this uh, date picker button, it will show me a date picker dialog and I can select any random date here and it will set this text to selected date. And similarly with time picker, if we click on this button, it will pop up a time picker dialog and then if we select any random time, it will set the text as a selected time. So let's create the app. So I have created this design. Uh, it's just two buttons and two text tube. So we'll initialize them in mainactivity.java. So we have two buttons, private button m date turn m time. And you have two text views. Okay, now we'll find their ID. So M date button. M time button. date text and last m time text okay now we'll add a uh, on click listener to our m date button and m time button so m date button dot set on click listener new on click listener and we'll call here one method that will be open date picker and we'll create it in main activity okay and now m time button dot set on click listener new on click listener and here open time picker and we'll also create this method in our main activity. So, okay, first uh, we'll deal with our open date picker. So, here we have to create uh, three variables. So, that will be int here. Uh, before that, <clears throat> one thing we have to do that is to in instantiate a calendar class. So, calendar, calendar. Calendar dot get instance. Okay, now we'll initialize this uh, here. Calendar dot get, and here we'll pass calendar dot uh, year, and for month also. Calendar dot get calendar month and int date calendar dot date calendar dot date so now we have to create object of date picker dialog class so date picker dialog date picker dialog equals new date picker dialog and it takes five parameters so first will be this the context and another will be new date picker dialog on date set list now and remaining three are year, month, and the date that we have created. Okay, uh, in on date set method, we will just uh, set the text. So m date text dot set text, and we'll pass here year. Sorry, we'll pass first uh, day of month, and then concatenate it. Then the month. and the last year okay so now we'll show the dialog so date figure dialog dot show and one thing to remember that uh, this month 
uh, gives us the value from zero index. So if uh, we'll select January, it will show us zero month. So we have to increment it. So just write here month equals month plus one. That will solve this problem. So now we'll run our app and check it's working or not. So it has been installed. If I click on date picker, so now we'll select any random date that is 9 August. So the text you get set as a 9 8 2020. Okay, now we'll implement our time picker. So where is our open time picker method? Okay, it is here. So say similarly, we'll just create here calendar, calendar, calendar dot get instance, and then we'll create a uh, two variables that will be hour, and similarly we'll get it as a calendar dot get and calendar dot hour and int minute calendar dot get calendar dot minutes okay now uh, we'll create our time picker dialog so time picker dialog time picker dialog new time picker dialog this will also take uh, four param five parameters so first will be this the context and then new time picker dialog on time set list now and we'll pass your remaining parameters so first will be hour and another will be minute and then we'll pass your false that is 24 hour view now we have to set our time text so m time text dot set text and first will be hour of day sorry and then the minutes and lastly we have to just show it so time picker dialog dot show now we'll run our app and check if time picker is opening or not so if you click on time picker you can see there is a dialog with time and now we'll click on ok and it will show me the time so now we'll select any random time let's select 10 6 pm so it's working properly now we'll check our date picker so yeah both of the dialogues are working properly so this is it for this video make sure you subscribe the channel if you are liking the tutorials thank you for watching